welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video dedicated to My Perfume Empress, which is out now, available to order worldwide shipping on my website. Now I know that I have been documenting the process of creating Empress here on YouTube for the past like sort of nine months it's been, um, but I wanted to do a video that just summarized what Empress smells like, introducing Empress for those of you that perhaps haven't been following the whole journey or are new to Empress, new to the channel. Uh, if so, hello. So I wanted to set out to create my first perfume um, as something that would have a real impact Having worked um, selling perfume as a student and of course doing my channel and reading all your comments as I review different perfumes, I really was struck by the fact that a lot of new releases from brands are quite light and don't really have good lasting power and kind of leave people feeling disappointed that they've spent a lot of money on something with beautiful advertising, beautiful branding, beautiful bottles sometimes, but then after an hour they can't smell the fragrance on them and you get you don't feel it's good value for money. So I wanted to create an intense perfume that had really good lasting power. So Empress is an eau de parfum intense, which means it's more concentrated than a normal eau de parfum and this really is a strong perfume guys. It's actually sort of so strong that I recommend that when you first spray it you give it like maybe five seconds before you properly smell it because the very initial hit of the fragrance is quite heavy. But I don't think that matters because this is all about the fact that you then, you know, you sprayed it, you leave the house, you go about your day and the scent is there and you can smell it and people can smell it on you and that's what I wanted to create. So the scent itself, um, is kind of inspired by what was my favourite teenage um, perfume that I love that's discontinued, which was Miss Dior Cherie, and that had a really unique popcorn note in the base, and so I really wanted to create a perfume that used that same kind of popcorn, warm, sweet undertone. So don't worry, this Empress doesn't make you smell like, you know, you're at the cinema a popcorn machine, but it's one of the notes in the base which I think is quite warm warming, it's quite autumnal, wintry, quite comforting um, and I think it makes the base of the fragrance really quite unique. When you first spray it, mm, you get a, um, a combination, a bouquet of the wild strawberry top note. So that um, uses a, a strawberry, so if you like things like Burberry Her, um, YSL Mon Paris, that kind of strawberry, um, but Wild Strawberry has more of a slightly green undertone. It's not like a strawberry um, lip gloss or a strawberry sweet. It's a bit more sophisticated um, with the sort of the whole plant of the strawberry, I guess. So you get that, and then what you also get is a floral heart note, and that is peony and rose. Now this is not a um, old fashioned potpourri type rose. This is a very modern, classy 21st century rose. And peony, one of my favorite fragrances, has a freshness to it. And again, is a very modern fragrance note that we tend to see in more recent perfumes. So now that it's starting to settle, I'm starting to sense more of that popcorn in the base. And then there is a patchouli in the base as well. And it's that combination of the patchouli and the rose, which is reminiscent of Miss Dior Cherie um, and Miss Dior, the old Eau de Parfum from 2017 that's also been discontinued and replaced by the new Miss Dior. So if you were a fan of that previous version of Miss Dior, um, I think you'll like Empress as well. So so I've just sprayed one spray there and I can really smell it on me. I think if someone were to come in now they'd be able to smell it. So you really are getting that value for money. The bottle is a 50ml size and the cap is custom made, unique design by me um, and of course is in the Empress Purple and it has 
my logo on the top of the cap as well. I think the, I'm really pleased with how cool the cap is. And then the glass bottle is of course the Empress Purple as well. It looks darker because it's full of the liquid. As you use the liquid and it goes down, it will start looking lighter, um, but the liquid makes it look darker. And it kind of reminds me of a sort of like an amethyst, gemstone, uh, something you'd find like in a little treasure trove in Aladdin's cave or something. For me, the bottle was really important. I wanted to create something that's really pretty, that sits on your dressing table, that's really unique, stands out, really cool. And I think that's what I've done with Empress. And the name Empress really evokes the feeling of the fragrance, that it is a powerful, strong fragrance, but it's also feminine. I really felt that oftentimes strong sort of female fragrances, strong female characters can be quite macho, masculine, harsh, or, you know, the evil queen or something. Then I wanted to create something which was very powerful but still had that femininity that softness of um of a woman but was still powerful and strong and you know you wouldn't want to mess with it so i do think it is like a boss girl fragrance so in terms of when to wear it um i do think it is more autumn winter than spring summer and i think it could be certainly worn in the evening. I think having that strawberry um, does make it a little bit sexy, but you could definitely wear this during the day. I'd say maybe just do one or two sprays during the day, um, but it's pretty universal. You could just sort of wear it wherever you want. It's not too sweet or anything that you couldn't wear it during the day. Box that it comes in, again, totally designed by me. And of course, this is a vegan and cruelty-free fragrance, um, but there's absolutely no animal testing and it's totally vegan friendly. So no bunnies were hurt in the making of Empress. So where can you get it? It's on my website, sokilondon.com, and I'm shipping worldwide, um, everywhere in the world, and it retails for £69. And I wanted to create something that was really like well-made exquisite scent intense perfume but still at a typical designer perfume price often like niche fragrances that are intense as this tend to be in the hundreds of pounds but I wanted to bring this to you at the type of price you'd be used to paying for you know designer perfumes Dolce & Gabbana deal whatever so you can order it from my website and I also have samples on there which are five pounds and then you get the sample and you can try it and you'll get a voucher code for five pounds so if you then want to go ahead and order Empress you'll get your five pounds back so guys I'm so excited to finally have this ready for you to introduce it to you please do let me know what you think of it um, post your reviews on social media. Just use the hashtag Sophie London Empress um, and I'll see it and I'll repost your reviews and I can't wait to find out what everyone thinks of it. But yeah, here it is. I'm so proud of it and I cannot wait for you all to try it.